Hello, this is Brian Castle with another Serve the Song screencast. Uh, today we're going to use Reason 4.0 in conjunction with Pro Tools 8. Together these two, pro these two programs are a killer combination, so uh, let's get right into it. So I have here a fresh Pro Tools session, nothing else is open. Let's start by creating a new track. Make this a stereo instrument track. And we want to view a couple other things here. We'll view instrument and inserts. So the way we bring Reason into the picture here is open up Reason as an insert on this track. So we're going to go to instrument, Reason. And that launches the Rewire plugin and also the Reason application. So Reason is now running through Pro Tools. Uh, it's dependent on Pro Tools. It's not running by itself. So we can start out by just removing the mixer. We don't need that for this project. Uh, we also don't need the mastering suite. And we will leave just the uh, hardware interface. <clears throat> uh, so let's start out by uh, creating a piano track. For that, we'll use uh, NNXT. And we see here Grand Piano is already loaded up. And we'll press Tab to look at the back. We see it's wired up to channel one and channel two. And we'll head back into Pro Tools. And we'll set the rewire plugin to um, match the, the channels that we had selected in, in Reason. In this case, Mix L and Mix R correspond to channels one and channel two. So we'll keep that how it is. And we can get this out of the way. And under instrument, the output, we're going to set that on NNXT. And now we are just about ready to start recording. Let's just head back into Reason just for a second and throw on the click track, bring that volume up a little bit. And let's get rid of this loop thing that can kind of mess us up. All right, and now we're back into Pro Tools and we are ready to start recording. So here we go. Oh. Nope, not quite ready yet. We gotta record enable our track. This is something I always forget to do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so we see here that it recorded straight into Pro Tools, uh, actually as MIDI. Um, so we have full uh, editing flexibility here right in Pro Tools. So if we double click on this region, it'll open up the MIDI editor, uh, which is uh, pretty awesome in the new Pro Tools 8. Um, you can actually go in and, uh, and move, you know, move different notes around. Let's just undo that. Um, I can go into the, all the uh, ins and outs of the MIDI editor uh, in another screencast or another 10 screencast. It gets so deep. Okay, so uh, let's move on and, and um, add another instrument here. Uh, this time, let's uh, let's go for, for, for a nice big pad on top of that piano sound. So we're going to create a new track. Again, it's going to be a stereo instrument track. And we can copy over the uh, the rewire plugin down to this new track. We'll hold down Option and drag it. Okay, so this is set up for now. Let's head back into Reason and create our new instrument here. Uh, so let's let's try this this new Thor synthesizer. Sounds kind of kind of nasty. Um, all right, so we're going to tab, look at the back, and we're going to wire this one up to channel 3 and channel 4. You can see it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on, kind of the top to bottom thing. And we're going to select uh, our pad patch here. Let's try 
Uh, let's try this one. Okay. And we'll head back into Pro Tools. Open up that rewire plugin on, on the new track and set set the rewire to channel three and channel four to correspond to what we had just selected in reason. And we can get this guy out of the way. Select Thor as the output on that channel. And now we are ready to go to record our next instrument. Here we go. Okay, so once again we have our uh, MIDI sequencing of, of that of that Thor pad. We can kind of go in and, and mess around with it if we want, or we can just move on. Uh, the next thing I want to show you here is how to bring in actual audio, uh, not MIDI, from Reason. Uh, for that, we're going to use a, a little bit more complex routing here in Pro Tools, but it's not too, not too bad. Uh, so the first thing we'll do, once again, is create another track. We'll make it a stereo instrument track again. <clears throat> and we'll copy over the rewire plugin. And we'll head into Reason at this point and create the next thing. Let, let's try a, a drum a drum sound. Um, we'll kind of go for something, something quick and easy for this screencast. So I'll just open up a Dr. Rex. And let's uh, let's select something here. All right. And we'll go back into. Um, we're going to view the back here. Press Tab. And route the output of the Doctor Rex into channels five and channel six this time. Okay. Back into Pro Tools. Open up the Rewire plugin on on this latest track. And this time we're going to set it to channel five and channel six. Okay. Set the output to Doctor Rex. And now we have Doctor Rex playing through this track. But in order to record that audio, we need to create a new track and route it, route that audio to it. So this time, let's create a stereo audio track. And the way we're going to route this is we're going to view the, the I.O., the ins and outs here. And on our third track, we're going to set the output to bus 1 and 2 and set the input of the new track to bus one and two. So now any audio coming from, from the third track will be routed into this one through bus one and two. Okay, so we can record enable the new track. This is where we're gonna record uh, our drum sound. Um, for this project, what we can do is just press preview to get the, the drums playing. And if we just start recording, it'll it, it'll start the, the loop right from right from zero. So here we go. just a raw audio track here um, uh, we have the you know the, the waveforms 
recorded straight into Pro Tools. This is not MIDI. Um, so, I mean, that was kind of a rough recording. Obviously, uh, you might want to go back and, and, and go back into that piano track and, and line up all the notes to, to match with the drums or even re-record the instruments now that we have our drum track, um, something I like to do a lot. But this gives you a basic idea of of the mechanics of, of working with Reason 4.0 and Pro Tools 8 in conjunction. So I hope this helped. Uh, for more info, articles, tips, and videos, visit servethesong.net.